So good morning folks. So first of all I hope everyone is doing good. You know you have woken up this morning, so we have to give God thanks for life. You know, give thanks for him providing for us on a day-to-day -day basis despite you know this virus that's going around. You know, we just have to give thanks each and every day for life in itself because you know you're here today you're gone tomorrow so we definitely have to continue to lift up god's name but the issue that i have today or the topic that i'm going to speak on today is it's not something i usually would do but this one really hit home because i've experienced it so many times living in jamaica right so the issue of this young lady that that was pregnant she went to the hospital to deliver deliver the baby. So from what I hear, because I wasn't there, from what I hear is that this young lady, she was scheduled for a C-section three months before the actual delivery date. All right? So no time for her to go to the hospital. I heard that it was St. Andrew's Hospital. As I'm saying, I'm, these are, I'm not, a hundred percent sure you know but this i watched i watched the news and this is what i heard so the girl got to the hospital to deliver her baby right at saint andrews and the quote unquote saying that the girl had sign and symptoms of of or exhibiting signs of having coronavirus no if a person was scheduled for a c-section right and they're supposed to go in and deliver a baby first of all it seems like the girl had um was in active lab labor from what i know if somebody's scheduled for a c-section them should the c-section should happen before the lady even start having an active labor but anyways that's what i hear so the girl going to have a c-section right and they're gonna turn the girl away because of showing um symptoms of coronavirus so no if the healthcare system can be turning back people when them sick who are gonna take care of these people because from me born i know myself me never know of no place no hospital where healthy people go i have yet to see the hospital where healthy people go just to hang out Hospital are somewhere where people sick or people need help to get back to them regular schedule So if you're a nurse or a doctor, this is a selfless This is a self selfless profession. So how when somebody come in at a hospital sick, you never turn them away You never turn and especially the lady pregnant And in active labor How you ever turn somebody away like that? And this is a high risk situation, especially because she have to do a C-section. The fact that she have to do a C-section means that there was a problem initially. So that means that she should not even be doing natural labor at all because this was a scheduled thing. From my knowledge. Right? So if these quote-unquote sick people are people going to, to the hospital to get help and can't get help, where are they supposed to go? Where are they supposed to go? And it really hurts because it's only the grace of God why I made upon this earth today. Because the amount of slackness, I, I used to be a very sickly child when I was young. When I was young. Right? Every minute me end up in a hospital and it, and thank God for my mother and my father when when them know where them I do. Because every time you come in like say I kill the people, they're gonna kill me after the hospital. And it's like there's nothing being done about this situation. Ministry of Health, Christopher Tufton, the Prime Minister, Mr. Andrew Holness, there's something has to be done. Because the healthcare system no good at Jamaica. It need to pull up, it need to revamp. Because Certain things will happen in Jamaica when I always say happen in Jamaica should not happen. It should never happen. There are no rules in place, or if the rules are in place, if rules and regulations are in place, place they are not being upheld. They are not being upheld 
at all. Because there's no reason why sick people should have got hospital and, and I get turned back. Alright, I understand some resources might be limited with this virus situation and you you might have to navigate certain p um patients to different 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 um facilities in order to de to get care. But from my understanding, the news say, I may mean, quote the news say, when they transferred the young lady from Andrews, from my understanding, them transfer her twice from Andrews to our next hospital, and then from our next hospital to Spanish Town Hospital. When she arrived to Spanish Town Hospital, the lady in the ambulance for over one hour. The news said the lady in her ambulance for over one hour. Right? So how can somebody who is scheduled for a C-section look like now them in an active labor and in an ambulance are weird? Like, them are treat people like animals and nowadays it comes in like say animals get treated better than how human beings are being treated. Them two slack a Jamaica man. And some of these people in the profession, they have no business being in the profession. Because they have no form of selflessness. You sign up for a profession where you know say, you are going to take care of the sick. You are going to help people who are vulnerable. You are going to help people who need somebody to advocate for them. Then if when them go to the hospital and nobody knows if you advocate for them, who are going to advocate for them? Eh? Because these people in the hospital should be educated people who are who are trained to handle certain situations, who are trained, who have um, gone to school, have the knowledge that a regular person going um, day by day don't have the knowledge, right? So if somebody come out of the hospital, as I'm saying, and you can advocate for the patient, you can't implement nothing for the patient in order for them to get help at the time. Then who is going to do it for them? You think that people really want to go to the hospital? Nobody. I have yet to seen the person who wants to go to the hospital for fun. Me never hear of nobody go to the hospital or the clinic or the doctor's office just for fun. They are going there because they need help. There's not a healthy person that's going to go to the hospital unless them like a do a physical fear job or something. Majority of the people them who go to the hospital need help. So these nurses and doctors need to be advocating for the patients. Them need to start stand up for the patient. You come in like say someone who just going at the profession because oh yeah, me can probably get little money or, or, or something of the sort. But no! We don't have to really think about people and people's lives. No, somebody no have, a, have a mother. The child don't have a mother. The mother loses her, her, her daughter now because of carelessness. And sometimes we might say things are destined to happen. But at the same time, the measures are not being put in place for people to actually stand the chance of surviving. As I said, I understand the fact that they're probably complaining said they don't have the resources at that facility. But if you don't have the resources at that facility, you know, should have come up with like a system where you say, alright, if that person here start exhibit some symptom of, of the virus, you know, go transfer them to this facility right away and they're gonna get immediate treatment. There's nothing in place, nothing at all when me, from where me can hear. Is in place in Jamaica. The system is very slack, very, very slack in Jamaica. And certain places, cause right now me in a, in a New York, right? And I'm a I'm a registered nurse. And I'm going into work, and I know that at the end of the day, I have a duty, right? I knew when I was going into this profession that I will be taking care of the sick. I will be have to advocating for the patients, you know, trying to, 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 to let them have the best outcome, right? And honestly, I had the option of not even working right now because I just graduated in December 
and I just passed my NCLEX like a month and a half ago, right? So that means uh, me need not work, me not to apply for job, and then the outbreak happen. And I had the option of just staying home and wait till the virus, virus pass. But I'm saying I knew what I signed up for. This profession, this profession that I signed up for is to, is to advocate for, for, for patients. It's to help them when they are most vulnerable. To help them when they can't help themselves. So I said, alright. Because I'm a very religious person, right? I believe that once my ask in God's name, he will protect me and he will cover me. So, I make sure I reason with God. I, I, I spoke to him and, you know, I tell him that I really want to go out there and help. As I, again, I have the option of, of not even going to work. Or because or I could be home just sitting and not applying to any jobs, right? And I still applied. I still applied and I started working because... These people need help. The healthcare workers are getting sick also. So there's going to be a shortage. There's going to be an extra demand for, for nurses, for doctors, for healthcare workers. You know, CNAs, PCAs, you know, the whole work. Everybody who working at the hospital. There's going to be an increased demand because the truth of the matter is that people are still getting sick. But as I said, I still decide to work because me know what I sign up for. Me sign up for help people. In order to get them back to them optimal health, health or to get them to start taking care of themselves back. So, when people in Jamaica I come and turn with people, and it, it come in like, so, I have no regards for people's life. I don't have no regards at all for people's life because I do free it or I don't feel like, say, I do can't prevent the virus from catching up because I don't have to turn with everybody. We have the virus. So in case you never know, people can have the virus and walk around and not even know so them have it. Them all have it, get better and not even know so them have it and pass it on to people already. So as I said, this profession has to be a selfless profession. Where you, where you make sure say you are care for the people them. Where you make sure you do the best of your ability. And I'm not saying that you're going to put yourself in harm's way. I'm not saying that you're not going to suit up and, and put on your, your PPE and make sure that you are ready for work and, and that you're going to prevent yourself or prevent yourself in the best way possible from not getting the disease. But the healthcare system, it, it need it need fixing. It need fixing. It, it will not need to just tear down, refix, build up back. Because America, certain things could happen. You're mad. You go hospital for figure, figure, figure deliver baby. What's a C-section? And people are turned and, and hospital are turned them back. You must be crazy. So some things are happening in Jamaica. It come in like say nobody not there for regulate regulate the, the, the system. I'm not saying that the Ministry of Health is not doing their job. I'm not saying that the Prime Minister is not doing their job. But them alone cannot. Them alone cannot micromanage everything. There has to be like a hierarchy where, you know, there's a level to everything where, you know, all right, you have this set of people and monitor this, this set of people and monitor certain situation. But nothing, nothing at all. Nothing at all. And I like say Corona catch on by surprise. Cause I don't know say Corona start from, from, from China. And it'll come over and then run the risk of getting it into, into Jamaica. So it's not like this thing just pop up out of nowhere where we only never have some ample time in order to get stuff in place. Now, as I said, this, this young lady, she died just because of negligence. You know, it's a negligence in America can't get a lock up. You never know say negligence in America have one leap of penalty. And you don't have Jamaica just a, just a fling fling people life around. And it's not fear. It is not fear. 
And as I said, it's only by the grace of God why I am here today. Because the amount of time where, 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 where death knock at my door. But me thank God every day for spare my life. There has to be something done. There has to be something done. It is not fair to the families of Jodian. It is not fair to the families of, of other people or the loved ones, friends and family of other people who have, who have died just because of negligence, because of the healthcare system in Jamaica. It has to be fixed. There has to be some form of meeting going on to see what's the best way in order to combat these things. Because as I said, certain things that I'm seeing happening in Jamaica could never happen in America because a real big problem people would end up getting. So you guys have to really take a stock of what's going on. This is people life. You lose it. You're not, you can't get it back. You cannot get it back. So you really have to pay attention to these things. Think about it. Who don't have family to go home to? Who don't have loved one? Who may have kids? Who don't have aunt, sister, cousin, brother? And you don't want to go to phone people too. So why the sick or the, the vulnerable population wouldn't want the same for themselves also? So there has to be something implemented. The healthcare system needs to be fixed in Jamaica. Because it can't continue like this. And it really hurts. It really hurts. Because knowing some men are safe for Jamaica. Because if me feel sick now or something going to happen to me. Come in like say, me not going to get the optimal care. It is not fear. I'm if, me sure me positive right now. If one celebrity come to Jamaica and take sick. It come in like say. Everybody want, want them come up to them facility. Everybody want them there. But because of the, 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 the locals, the local people, nobody don't know them. It come in like so no one assist them to the best way possible. From my teaching, every individual should be treated with the same respect. Me, you, the person who homeless the on the road, no have no sure what everybody needs to be treated with the same respect. Because we are all humans at the end of the day. As I said, nobody comes to the hospital because they are healthy. Nobody comes to the hospital just because of fun. They need help. They really need help. So something has to be done. Mr. Christopher Tufton, Mr. Andrew Holness, you guys have to implement something for it to get better in Jamaica. Because if it not get better, it coming like say people just have a drop dead so and nobody no business not now come out of it. And it is not fear. It is not fear at all. <sighs> Let me tell you, like I'm heading out to work right now and I make sure my prayer for God cover me because you cannot escape it. You have to you have to deal with all patients as if they they have the virus. You know, you it's just a protection or a protective um you a protective a protective um thing that you do in order to, to make sure you, you, you protect yourself in the best way possible. You know, but as I said, it's a selfless profession. It is a selfless profession. You have to have the desire to do this profession. You can't just get up and say, oh, you want to be a doctor, you want to be a nurse, you want to be a healthcare provider. Because if you don't have the compassion, if you're not passionate about your job, if you don't have the urge to, to make people get better, to make people feel better, to know that you can help somebody to get better, then it don't make no sense because I see them so people just have a start drop dead because you're not here. Because them sick and them have something that you might catch and I want to take care of them. No, that's not how it works. So I just hope that you guys can get it together sooner or later. Get it together. Get something done. Get something done. So with that said, I just hope you guys have a blessed day. You know, I wish, you know, I pray and, and wish that this this um thing just pass. And we can go back to our normal schedule. But as I said, there has to be something done. 
has to be something done in Jamaica with them healthcare system.